Is in full swing. It is true, and this morning we are hanging out with a business that knows flowers inside and out. Lori Wallace is live <laughs> at Isley Nursery. Hey, you. Yes, there is a certain kind of way to make your way through the poinsettias <laughs> so that you don't break off pivot, the leaves. Pivot, and push. I don't want to make this guy mad. He's been doing this for a while, and he told me you got to be very careful. Most people aren't allowed to walk down these aisles here in the greenhouse. Yeah. Earl, 1932, yeah. this has been your family's business. How did it all get started? Well, my mother decided that she could grow pansies. And at that point, we had uh, chicken houses here. My dad and my grandfather had chickens and sold eggs. So at this point, from the fallout of the chickens, we had uh, manures for growing pansies and raising uh, bedding plants. And so the story goes from there, and here you are now, still continuing with the family business. All your kids are here every day. Yes, we are. And we have to watch and water and make sure that everything is growing so that we have plants for our customers. Yeah, and the watering is a process. I've been watching the guys in here this morning. They certainly have a system. There are a lot of plants to get through these points. Setas are beautiful. You have so many different varieties, and this is a labor intensive job. Yes, it is because they have to be watered every day uh, in the summertime when it in August, September. Uh, right now, we're getting by with watering every other day because our weather is cooler. Mm -hmm. And at that point, it's uh, the, each one has to be watered or you'll know the next day you're in. <laughs> well, they all look good. The, the waterers have been doing their job. I'm going to step over here to talk to Erlene for a second. Now, on Friday, you held a big event. You let customers come through, walk by, take notes, pick their favorite variety, and then they come to the retail store, and that's where you have all of these. And that's where we have them all for sale. Okay, so let's talk about the varieties because there are several different ones. Uh-huh. There's... Uh, you know, just about 12 of them that we were that we were looking at. This is an orange spice. That's Cortez, uh, Jingle Bells. Then there's just the whites, the reds, the pinks. Yeah, um, and I was asking Earl if you if you do the right amount of watering and take care of it the right way, how long can they last? He said they've lasted for him for up to about. And I mean, I know he has a little experience, but if you take care of them the right way, they could last up to a year if you take them home. So they start at eight ninety nine for the little guys. They go up to thirty one ninety nine. This big giant one right here is thirty one ninety nine in the retail store. So come by, say hi to Erlene and Earl. Get yourself a poinsettia or get one to gift to somebody for the holiday. They're absolutely. Absolutely beautiful, and they're all grown right here in Auburn. Cool, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, such a My goodness, mm. I know. Say hi to Erlene and Earl.